Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, depending on where you are in the world. It's good to be with you uh, today. Hi, not sure if this got cut off or not. But I want to talk about forgiveness, what forgiveness is and what it is not. And so the, the devotion I want to read to you today and share starts off with uh, scripture from 1 Corinthians 13, 5. It says, love isn't selfish or quick-tempered. It doesn't keep a record of wrongs that others do. It said, there's a fault, a lot of faulty thinking about forgiveness. The act of forgiveness gets watered down, abused, and cheapened. What is forgiveness really? Take a quick test by answering true or false to the following statements. We all know forgiveness is challenging. So, question number one. People should not be forgiven until they ask for it. True or false? Number two, forgiveness includes minimizing the offense and the pain that was caused. True or false? Number three, forgiveness includes restoring trust and reuniting a relationship. True or false? Number four, you haven't really forgiven until you've forgotten the offense. Number five, when I see someone else hurt, then it is my duty to forgive the offender. So, how many of y'all said, you know, how many truths do you have and how many false do you have? If you really look at the scriptures, all of those statements are false. If you said any were true, I challenge you to go back and reread it and look at it again. And so let's talk about what forgiveness is not. Forgiveness is not conditional. You either forgive or you don't. It's not conditional. It's not based on anything, no kind of variable. It is. It happens or it doesn't happen. Real forgiveness is unconditional. Number two, forgiveness is not minimizing the seriousness of, of the offense. You know, so many times we hear that people say you got to forgive and forget. I, no, and that is not how it happens. When somebody has offended you, the last thing you want to do is, for, is forget or minimize the uh, seriousness of the offense. Too many people do that. And feel like if they forgive, then they are condoning the the um, the situation or whatever happened, and that's really not the case. Number three, forgiveness is not resuming a relationship without changes. Come on now, if somebody hurts you, you're gonna be different around them. You may forgive them, and they may say I'm sorry, but your relationship with them will be very different moving forward, unless it is really really worked out. Restored relationship means you got to rebuild the trust, and trust is built over a long period of time. It's about reconciliation. It's not about forgiving the, or I'm sorry, it's not about resuming the relationship you had before. As I said earlier, forgiveness is not forgetting what happened. Many of us can't forget the situations we've been in or the things that we've had to deal with in our lives, whether it's abuse, um, uh, incest, any of those things. And so forgiveness is not about forgetting what happened. You can't forget what happened to you. It happened to you. Forgetting it is not a part of living. You have to, you will always remember. It may lessen over time. The key is not forgetting. The key is forgiving. Forgiveness is not my right when I wasn't the one that was hurt. Only the person who was hurt can forgive. You're right. You can't forgive somebody on their behalf. Either they do it or they don't. So forgiveness is really hard for many of us. I know I struggle with them from time to time. But it's important to not minimize what happened to you. It's important not to forget what happened to you. And later on, next week, we're going to talk a little bit more about forgiveness and how it affects you. But I want to leave you with these questions. Does it make it easier to forgive someone when you consider that forgiveness is unconditional? How does the fact that forgiveness is unconditional affect you right now? I hope this time has helped you. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have. It's nice to be to, to share struggles that I have with you and knowing that we all have those same struggles from time to time. So will you pray with me? Gracious God, we thank you for this time that we can come together. And God, I just pray that those who are listening um, are able to get something out of this time of forgiveness. 
remind us, God, that forgiveness is unconditional. And forgiveness really is about ourselves, not about the other person. And so, God, I lift up to you those of us who struggle with forgiveness. God, we also lift up to you um, a friend who is having surgery uh, tomorrow. And we just ask you to be with that person. Be with a mother uh, whose child is having some challenging times right now. God, be with all of us who are going through emotional, physical, mental uh, challenges right now. Just touch us, God. Let us know we're not going through these things alone. In all things, we thank you and we praise you. In Christ's most holy name, amen. I hope this has been good for you. I will see you next Wednesday, same time, same bat station. Take care. Bye-bye.